Yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the episode of Stiff Farm. Another day, another NFL draft report. I got a lot of different draft reports up on the channel right now. I'm going through, did all the quarterbacks already, going through all the receivers. So check out some other ones up on the channel right now. Go check out Bo Nix, uh, Troy Franklin's quarterback in college. But if you're an Oregon fan, check out the video and stay for Troy Franklin's draft report. 6'2", 176 receiver out of Oregon. He weighed at that at his pro day. There was some flu-like you know, he had, was sick, so that's what he came in with. He already gained eight pounds and is 180, what was that, four at his pro day. So, already going back to his playing weight, but he lost weight for the NFL Combine. In 2023, 13 games for the Oregon Ducks, 81 catches, 1,383 receiving yards, and 14 receiving touchdowns in his career over three seasons. 160 catches, 2,483 receiving yards, and 25 receiving touchdowns at the combine. A 4-4-1. He's got great speed, electric speed, but that's just not something you want to see from him. He's faster than this. It's shown on tape. And some people thought he was going to be out there for Xavier Worthy for the fastest 40, but did not run when he wanted to run. Vertical jump 39, broad jump 10-4, through cone drill 6-9, and then 20-yard shuttle 4-3-1. Let's get into his strengths and weaknesses. He's got track runner speed. And I know it doesn't show it at the 40-yard dash, but like I said earlier, he had flu-like symptoms leading up to the combine, lost a lot of weight, was not feeling 100%. Still did the drills, still went to the combine when he didn't have to. And he's faster on film than what he's shown. Uh, he's got separation. He's got that late field separation. He'll run right past you, but he can just finds a way to separate from cornerbacks all the time. He can win outside and in the slot. There's so many examples of where he's outside and winning, and when he's slot, he pull, he can move all around and win all over the field. Being 6'2", you know, he's got the, sk the skinnier frame, 160 100, or 180 pounds. Winning on the outside can be tough to do, but just like Devontae Smith, just like Jalen Hyatt, they can win on the outside and in the slot in college, and that's what he did. He can win versus press. I think a lot of times teams try to press him just because he's not as big as some of the other receivers and he's just not your typical outside receiver. But he wins versus press constantly and there's a lot of good DBs in the Pac-12. He played a great amount of DBs this year and he can win versus press. His ball tracking is really good as well. And that's what happens when you're a deep threat guy and you're having a great quarterback and Monix throw you to you in college. The same quarterback throw you all three years. The ball tracking is just going to be better. So just coming to second nature. If you're not having good ball tracking, you're not going to be going in the first or second round of the draft. He's got first step quickness. I think that's why he's so good off the press. He can beat you in the first zero to five yards better than anybody in this draft class. His weakness is he's got a very skinny frame, slender and, and frame, but that's just the kind of receiver he is. He's more of a straight line runner, which can be good but also can be a weakness. I want to see what he does when he's not running in that straight line and making a lot of cuts because uh, when he's running that straight line, he is fast. He can get going really fast. Another weakness is he's not going to break out of tackles. Oregon had the most run after catch for any team in college football, and they ran away with it. They had over 1,000 more yards than anybody else. So he can get going after the after the catch, but he's not just not going to break a lot of tackles. He can juke. He can just... That, that film versus USC where he's juking the guy, looking like Devontae, uh, DeAnthony Thomas. That is the receiver getting here. Shades of, it really just reminds me a lot of Devontae Smith. Just his body, just the way he plays the game. He can run all the routes. He can, you know, accelerate after the catch. He can break, beat you with speed. Devontae Smith was my comp. I also thought of like guys like Jalen Hyatt, guys with the skinnier, faster kind of frame. He's a wide receiver seven in my top rankings. That's all I have for today's video. Go check out some other videos that I have up on the channel right now. Got through, like I said earlier, got through all the quarterbacks and now going through the receivers. Subscribe to the Stiff Firm. Help your boy out. Go a long way. Up and coming YouTuber for college football and NFL draft content. So go check that out as well. But that's all I have today's video. Comment down below what you guys think. Is this too low for him? Is this too high? What are you guys' thoughts on Troy Franklin, receiver out of Oregon? Of course, like the video as well. But I'll see you guys next episode. Peace.